The test maturity model integration is a detailed model for test process improvement. TMMI came about as a response to the fact that CMMI wasn't perceived as covering testing activities in enough detail to allow meaningful improvements to be measured. TMMI was developed in 2005. It uses the concept of maturity levels to allow organisations to methodically improve their test process maturity. The process areas within each maturity level describe the expected testing related activities that would demonstrate good practice. The TMMI model was designed to utilise appropriate elements of existing models, draw on existing expertise within the industry and incorporate best practices, cover all aspects of test and test related quality activities, be generic enough to be applied to all software development life cycles, be easily understood and usable globally, provide a common standard to assess in detail the capability and maturity of an organisation and to support industry leading software engineering models. The TMMI maturity level definitions. Maturity level one is initial. This is automatically achieved and describes an organization where testing is carried out using chaotic, undefined processes. At this level, testing is often seen as merely a debugging process. Maturity level two is managed. At level two, testing is a managed process and is clearly distinct from mere debugging. The process discipline introduced at level two ensures that test processes are maintained at times of stress. Maturity level three is defined. At level three, testing is an integral part of the overall software development lifecycle and is fully defined as a set of evolving test processes. At maturity level three, processes are consistently followed at an organisational level. Maturity level four is measured. At level four, the testing infrastructure established at maturity levels two and three is subject to measurement to encourage further growth and development. Testing is a process of evaluation of software products and work products. Maturity level five is optimization. At level five, the test processes are continually improved based on objective measurements of statistically controlled processes. Processes are optimized and technological improvements are identified and implemented. The focus is on the prevention of defects and achieving efficiencies in testing. TMMI process areas. Each TMMI maturity level contains several process areas. The process areas describe the procedures that are expected to be conducted to demonstrate good testing practice. There are no process areas at level one of TMMI. At level two, there are five process areas, test policy and strategy, test planning, test monitoring and control, test design and execution, and test environments. Test policy and strategy looks for a test policy and an organisational test strategy, the why and how we do testing. It also introduces test performance indicators to measure test performance. Test planning looks for a definition of the test approach based on identified risk and the organisational test strategy and for a well-founded plan for the conduct of testing. Test monitoring and control provide an understanding of progress against plan and product quality and allows for corrective actions to be taken when deviations occur. Test design and execution is the process of writing and executing appropriate tests and looks for the use of test design techniques, a structured test execution process and a defect management process. Test environments covers the setting up maintenance and management of appropriate test environments for testing, including the provision of test data. At level three, there are also five process areas, test organization, test training program, test life cycle and integration, non-functional testing, and peer reviews. Test organization looks for the testing as a recognized profession with defined roles and career paths for testers. 
It also covers the provision of a centralised repository for test process documentation. The test training programme process area looks for the timely provision of appropriate training for the test team to enable skills to be maintained and developed. Test lifecycle and integration looks for the development of a full set of organisational test processes and fully integrating them with the wider software development lifecycle. Non-functional testing looks for capability within test planning and test design and execution that covers the non-functional aspects of the project. The peer reviews process area looks at the verification of work products and the early and efficient removal of defects from the product through static testing. There are three process areas within maturity level four, test measurement, product quality evaluation, and advanced reviews. The test measurement process area looks for the use of appropriate measurements to support the evaluation of process, performance, product quality, and the effectiveness of test process improvements. Product quality evaluation develops quantitative measurements of product quality through measurement of specific product quality goals. Advanced reviews builds on peer reviews at level three to measure product quality early in the life cycle and to align dynamic testing with static testing. Within maturity level five, there are three more process areas, defect prevention, quality control, and test process optimization. Defect prevention's purpose is to identify the root causes of defects and implement mitigating measures to prevent their reoccurrence. The purpose of the quality control process area is to implement statistical methods to manage and control the test process. The test process optimization process area looks to continuously improve test processes, identify and implement appropriate testing technologies and to identify and make available high quality test assets for reuse. TMMI has a number of advantages over other test framework models. It is a truly independent model administered by the not-for-profit TMMI Foundation, which is made up of testing professionals from around the world. TMMI was developed with reference to best practices from a number of other quality and test models. Risk management and its monitoring and control are at its heart. It is appropriate for all software development life cycles and test levels. Moving up the TMMI maturity levels helps organisations to move their focus from defect detection to defect prevention. It is used around the world to measure test maturity through its certification scheme. Experimenters alone have carried out TMMI assessments in the UK, Malaysia, China, Mexico, Ukraine, Spain, Saudi Arabia, the Philippines, France and more. Why not try our free high-level TMMI e-survey to see where your organisation rates against the framework and against other organisations in your market sector?